Hello, my name is Claudia Marcuchetti. I'm an Italian-born writer who lived all her adult life in Mexico. I used to be an architect before literature changed for good my life. Since I wrote my first book, Lottery, a recollection of short stories, I haven't been able to stop writing. My first novel, The Invalids, takes place in Paris at L'Explanade des Invalides, where I used to live for a while, and is an existential thriller that mixes erotism, suspense, and philosophy. It's a novel about the difficulties to communicate with others, with the other. It's about the emotional struggle or disability of the contemporary human being to relate. Recently, just a couple of months ago and after eight years of work and research, I launched in Mexico my second novel, Wounds of Water, which title is both literal and symbolic. It refers to the invisible pain, and sometimes less invisible, that we all suffer, but also to an old way of describing the waterfalls that descend from the mountains surrounding the valley of Mexico City. The waterfall seems to make bleed the mountains, the earth, and were also the reason why the mechanism of the first water mill of America could press the grain. This ancient building, still alive nowadays, converted in a residential area where I had the privilege to live many years, it's also the main character of this novel. A building that was founded by the Spanish conqueror Hernán Cortés in the 16th century and in my opinion represents the union of the two cultures and races that form this country, the Indian and the Spanish one. A country that was born as such 500 years ago along with this building who witnessed all its history. But Wounds of Water is also a novel about the intricate relationship that exists between any building and its inhabitants. The architecture is the great book of humanity, wrote Victor Hugo. Is the impartial witness of history, said Octavio Paz, our Mexican Nobel Prize. I personally think buildings are like books. They are an extension of ourselves. They are what we live in this world when we are gone. And this novel is also a reflection of one of the greatest mysteries of life, death. While living in this ancient building, I lost at a very young age a person who was my husband, who was also very young. As a tribute to this experience, and thanks to my vivid imagination, I might, my, I might say my most faithful companion, I created in this novel a space where life and death alternates in a constant and playful dance. The other main character of the book is an Italian woman who falls in love with the watermill building, lives there and dies there in, very, in a very suspicious circumstances, and in the very first chapter. <laughs> but of course I hope she will continue to live even after the last page of this novel. Nobody knows for sure what will happen to us when we die. So using my fantasy and perhaps my despair, I imagine the after death as a place with rules and limitations and very similar to life, meaning that there are no other answers or solutions there but the ones we decide to give to ourselves. Among other topics like migration, infidelity, revenge, and all human passions and actions, Wounds of Water is also a postcard of the history of Mexico that combines real historical characters and events with fiction. Even if it starts in 1529, the date where the building was actually built, it really concentrates in the end of the last two centuries, the 20th and the 21st. These two periods, so full of similarities, served me as a proof of how history repeats itself and that goes for the characters and for the assembly of character that makes a country. Maybe Adolf Oxley was right. The most important lesson of history is that we haven't learned its lessons. And maybe this book is an attempt to prevent myself and you as a reader from keep, keep repeating our, our own personal histories and our own community, country and world history. Thank you very much for having this.